This is the SBUX 10-year overview reading for the years 2020 through 2029. It's currently June 18th, 2023, 8.55 p.m. Eastern Time. And Starbucks at the time of this reading, in the extended hours, $101.72. That's USD. So you have to keep in mind, we want to follow the sequence of events for what we're going to predict over the timing. It'll be on point most of it, but it's going to vary like a year here or there because not every card is going to line up to be equal to a year's worth of time. So keep that in mind, guys. Sequence of events trumps the timing. The timing is usually good. When it fails, go for sequence of events. A significant move over the 10-year period for Starbucks to the upside. It's crossed with the establishment of support with sideways rotational on key support followed by a prominent move higher, sending out on a multi-year scale, and then the establishment of support at a higher price level. Super bullish so far. Behavior around the highest high, we have a near overbought crest or peak that we sell off from. That's going to be on the scale of a multi-year chart. Behavior around the lowest low, an important range on a multi-year scale that we're bound by at the lower end of the 10-year chart. In 2020, we had a rally along a diagonal trend line that ended with a fast sudden move higher and then a breakdown through that diagonal trend line with increasing volatility on the way down, leading us into a more decline in 2021 where we revisit a support level that we recently met once before. 2022, however, we have a notable breakout on a multi-year scale. 2023, quite a lot of price action in 2023 with increasing volatility as we move into the year. 2024, it's hard to say if it's bullish or bearish. We'd have to determine that with the ESO meta pattern recognition portion. I'm leaning towards bullish though. We break out, move higher, and then we have a failed attempt in 2024 to break through key resistance, followed by a decline through key support again on a multi year scale. In 2025, an improbable opportunity, an improbable move takes place here. So, something to pay attention for. It's not always a drop, the full card. Sometimes it's to the upside, but it's usually a pretty big price change with a notable opportunity in it. 2026, we have an important technical price level on a multi year scale that's highlighted. The science card, it's just a really important price level that's important on a technical scale. In 2027, we have a, a notable move higher. We reach for distant resistance, meaning that we don't stop at the first re key resistance. We go to at least the second key resistance. In 2028, but at sideways fluidity, equal amounts of bulls and bears inflow and outflow along key support. And then we decline in 2029 down to and through support to meet a second support. We rotate sideways along that support. I'm advised to trade around a key resistance level that's highlighted and quite a lot of price change and volatility around that resistance level. The following 10 year period of 2030 through 2039. I doubt Starbucks goes out of business, but there's going to be a significant decline of some sort there for Starbucks. We're going to get into the SO meta pattern recognition portion next and see if we can identify where the highest highs, lowest lows, and best trade opportunities are. Stay tuned. Mike. Looking at the SO meta pattern recognition markup, it's looking pretty on point as well. So we have this rally along a diagonal trend line that ends with a fast sudden move higher and then a breakdown through that diagonal trend line into 2020. And then we have correlation to the wealth card and the magazine card here in 2021 and you can see the wealth card we established support big move higher and then sideways rotation at a higher price level establishing support at a higher, higher price level but it's followed by a decline to revisit recent support that we'd met recently in the past so you can see we come back to that same support level in 2022 and then out of that we have a breakout so there's two resistances you could consider the breakout the first one here and then the second one here 2023 a lot of price change covered it looks like we have a trough towards the cusp of 2023 2024 and in 2024 we have a failed attempt to break through key resistance followed by a decline through key support with a near overbought crest or peak on a multi-year scale around the cusp of 24 25. there's a lot of places to trade and it looks like for the most part these trades correlate to the high it's a super bullish reading the lows even nullified in some cases that means it's behind us we just go higher although i will say that following 10 year period the death card doesn't bode well. This is probably a good spot to get out on a multi-year scale here at the end of 2026, around the end of the year, like second half towards the end, last three months, somewhere significant peak or crest. There's an important price level on a multi-year scale that's highlighted, important technical price level that's highlighted there. Often you'll see that the science card ends up being like a high on, a, on when you're talking about a broad time scale reading like this, it could be a high there. So what I do is look to get into a long position around the cusp of the 2023, 2024. It'll probably be slightly higher than this trough here. So 2023, one year, it looks like in September, pretty big decline, it's probably a trough here year around the end of the, we might may have a low here around the end of the year hard to say without doing the markup ah see look end of the year here we've got the prince of swords in just in the december cluster 
We've got the Prince of Swords for 2023 leading us into probably a trough here at the end of the year. We successfully turn resistance into new support there, at least temporarily, and then we decline when we create a, a near overbought peak or crest around the cusp of 2024, 2025. Hard to say the price level, guys. Hard, I, I'm not getting a clear price level, but I could say that we'll probably visit towards the end of 23, somewhere around these price levels, 70s, 80s, 79s, 80s, somewhere around there, the low 80s, high 70s. And then we should have a rally probably back to roughly 110-ish in 2024. And the full card is decline. This is a stock that I would hold probably into 2026. If you like this video, please subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Don't forget to hit that alert button so you don't miss out on any other Starbucks readings. Most importantly, guys, the most important part of the channel is make sure to follow that rule of karma. 5% of the profits from the information on this channel should be donated forward to one of these charities. 5% of the profits should be donated back to the channel. Thank you very much, my angel investors. Make sure to spend that 90% left over out of love. As long as you do that, the universe is going to send it back to you tenfold through this channel, my friends. I'll see you guys on the next one.